I don't exactly know what I'm going to see, but I know I'll have a good time. Welcome onto the stage, David Schneider! Okay, it's only on. Uh, some people aren't quite in their seats yet, uh, but we have a minion. Just sounding out how many Jews, how many non-Jews there are in uh, tonight. So, have, we got, have we got any Jews in tonight? Come on, it's a Jewish event, you can go, yes! Uh, any non-Jews in tonight? Great, we'll be sacrificing you later. Um, okay, well, um, yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, please take your seats. So, please will you welcome Judy Ironside. This must be the place is directed by Paolo Sorrentino, who had hoped to be here with us tonight. Unfortunately, he's not. He's in New York. That's what happens with film directors. He sends greetings to you all and hopes that you enjoy his film. Sean Penn is superbly cast, and the film is truly unique and highly original. We very much hope that you enjoy the evening and please complete your Shoresh Charitable Trust Audience Award slips on the way out because we'd love to know what you think of this film. And that remains just for me to say thank you for being here and do join us at the festival right through until the 20th of November. Thank you for listening. Uh, well, we've just seen This Must Be The Place and uh, fantastic, challenging, very thought-provoking. And the cinematography was fantastic. So, you know, I think lots of people are leaving the cinema with lots of really strong images and stuff to think about. Okay, are you talk, talk to the man and not to me, okay? Yes, okay. How, how, how is your pen in the film? Um, I thought his acting was brilliant and I thought the character, it took a while to get to understand the character um, and to be and to warm to the character but during the course of the film you really got to see that the character had depth and um, his use of words was um, very chosen and very powerful. Well, I just thought that Sean Penn was brilliant, the acting was incredible and I must admit I was trying to find the Jewish connotation and when I found out it, and, and then suddenly arrived when he uh, went to New York to see his father, obviously, um, and his father died. And uh, it was a whole different ballpark from that, that way on. I thought the film was beautiful. I loved the cinematography. I thought the pace was perfect. Yeah, me too. I really liked the storyline and I thought it was very interesting the way it dealt from second and third generation survivors in the Holocaust. Um, I found a beautiful film. There's one more question if I could. Apparently Harvey Weinstein I just has gone crazy about this film. Do you understand why? I think it's a standout film. I think it's a film, I'm someone who'll go to the cinema, enjoy a film and then forget it. And if someone asked me six months later, what was that film about, I wouldn't be able to tell them. Whereas I think with this film, it's so different and so standout that it's a film that you won't forget. I think it really makes an impression. So yeah, 